Now that we know how quantified statements work, let's explore how quantified statements can be used in arguments. We've already seen how rules of inference work in statement calculus. In this lecture, we'll look at some rules of inference that involve quantifiers. For example, if I say all males are tall, I can infer that John is tall, assuming that John is male. We can represent this inference rule formally as for all x, p of x, therefore p of j. In our example, the domain of x is the set of all males. The predicate p of x is x is tall, and j stands for John. In general, the domain of x can be any set of objects. The predicate p of x can be any predicate, and the constant symbol j can stand for any object in the domain of x. In general, our rule of inference will look like this. For every x, p of x, therefore p of a. This rule of inference is called universal instantiation. Okay. Now, suppose I say every student is a coffee drinker. If we let p of x be x is a student, and q of x be x is a coffee drinker, Then we can express my statement here using the universal quantifier. For every x, p of x entails q of x. Okay, now suppose Alex is a student, then P of A is true. Where A, A stands for Alex. Now, since p of x, arrow q of x, is a predicate, since that's a predicate, we can apply universal instantiation to this. Okay, if we do that, we get P of A entails 
Q of A. Okay, by modus ponens, we get Q of A. In other words, um, Alex is a coffee drinker. Thus, we have the following rule of inference. For every x, p of x entails q of x. P of A, therefore Q of A. Okay, this is called universal modus ponens. Now, suppose Kimberly is not a coffee drinker, so not Q of K, where K stands for Kimberly. By applying universal instantiation to this, we get P of K entails Q of K. Okay, so we have P of K entails Q of K and not Q of K. By modus tollens, we have not P of K. In other words, Kimberly is not a student. Thus, we have the following rule of inference. For every x, P of x entails Q of x. not Q of K, therefore not P of K. Okay, this is called universal modus tollens. Universal instantiation allows us to infer from a universal statement a statement about a particular object in the domain of X. We can infer a universal statement for all X P of X if we can show P of C for an arbitrary object C in the domain of X. For example, let the domain of X be the set of even integers.
and let p of x be this x squared is a multiple of 4 okay let's see be an arbitrary even integer okay then C is equal to 2k for some integer k Okay, then c squared is 2k squared, which is 4k squared, and thus c, c squared is a multiple of 4. Okay, so P of C is true. Okay, since C is an arbitrary even integer, we can infer for all X P of X. Okay, the rule of inference just illustrated has the following form. P of C for some arbitrary C. And therefore, for every x, p of x. Okay, this is called universal generalization.